Good morning, fancy babies. Or it's not good morning, it's good day. Like, it's literally the afternoon. But anyways, I have such a crazy day ahead of me. First and foremost, it's Jose's birthday weekend and I'm throwing him a Scream Queens themed sleepover tonight. So that's why we're starting in the bathroom because I just removed all my makeup from earlier today since I did film Nikki and Gabby earlier today. I'm just redoing my face makeup because I just feel like it needs to be snatched. I've been wearing it all day. Scream Queens is literally Jose and I's favorite show and you guys know I have the clothes from the show I want it in an auction so I have a super fun idea but before I get into that I do want to let you guys know I did shop early for Christmas this year I even got something or took something a little extra from Victoria's Secret that you will see later in the vlog like I'm shook by this and yeah it's just a long story I'm also getting my lip filler dissolved tomorrow so stay tuned for that I don't want to get into that right now and I'm getting the rest of my cheek filler dissolved because not all of it got dissolved last time that's just like a whole conversation on its own that I will explain later but right now I want to focus on my new skincare which you guys are gonna do with me before I start my day okay guys so this is my new skincare I can't fit all of it in my hand I literally got the entire line literally this skincare is dedicated to protecting your skin from blue light. Blue light comes from your cell phone, your laptop, your tablet, your TV. And you know during quarantine, we've been in front of screens more than ever. I decided to invest in the entire collection because I feel like it's honestly worth investing in. We're going to be living in front of screens for like the next, no offense, like next year, year and a half, two years. And do you guys realize how much damage blue light can do for your skin? It is so much worse than UV rays. Like literally going in a tanning bed, laying in the sun is so bad for you. But that is like a UV ray time. 5,000. Oh my god guys, this smells so good. Right now I'm using the Rescue Me Clean Scene Micellar Gel. I'm using this as my cleanser right now. UV rays impact the first layer of your skin and blue light impacts an even deeper level of your skin and it causes discoloration, wrinkles, it makes you look tired. And I've definitely noticed a huge difference in my skin during quarantine. And I know everyone's so quick to blame the masks, but have you ever actually considered how many screens you're in front of? Like, think about it. it feels so good. So right now I'm using the Rescue me texture magic exfoliating toner i've never heard of an exfoliating toner before so i was like i need to get this it smells so good guys the skincare line smells amazing blue light causes so much more damage to your skin that you'll ever even realize a human being literally checks their phone 150,000 times a day so you gotta consider that i don't want fine lines dullness wrinkles so i'm trying to be careful and i'll make sure to link everything down below if you guys want to get this skincare line or collection as well i'm like really obsessed with this tone right now it smells amazing <laughs> this skincare line is called good habit it's pretty it's like light blue and white it's a really cute aesthetic for a bathroom this skincare line uses blue 5 technology to protect you against blue light so you're protected by the blue light from your screens when you're using skincare like this i don't know if you guys remember but in the beginning of quarantine i started using another collection by them and right now this is the rescue me collection and so far i'm loving it my eyebrows are like coming off but i don't care because my skin is gonna be nice all right so after that, I am going to use, okay, so there's like mini versions, like travel size versions of like the toner and the water jelly cream, like the face moisturizer. There's the Rescue Me Glow Potion Oil Serum. There's a Clean Scene Missler Gel. And there's also the Rescue Me Water Jelly Dew Cream. I'm gonna use the Water Jelly Dew Cream right now. Look how cute it is, it's like bouncy. This collection focuses on soothing hydration and all skin types need hydration. I know there's a stigma with like oily skin and moisturizing, but no, literally, all skin types, even combo skin, all skin types need moisture. Moisture is the one thing that protects against wrinkles the most. I'm gonna have all the codes down below in the description, but if you go on their website, you can learn more and more about the skincare collection, which I'll read more to you right now. But this skincare collection was formulated with skin loving ingredients to help hydrate and smooth skin. Like I told you, it's made with hyaluronic acid, blue tansy, which helps soothe in inflammation and redness, and blue spirulina, which is a superfood packed with antioxidants and vitamins to help improve skin tone and promote cell turnover. So all in all, our skin is going through a change from the masks to being in front of screens all the time and we all have a little extra time on our hands so it is definitely worth uh, considering. I'm gonna put the Rescue Me collection links down below from Good Habit. You can use my code to get 15% off your first order. Everything is gonna be linked down below. Yes, I got the iPhone 12 and I'll talk more about it in another video since I have so much going on in this video but she cute. I love her. So yeah, I'm gonna go beat my face and then let's set up the Scream Queens party because I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so extra. There's like a birthday every day of the week, I feel like, in Quarantine Squad. 
And Quarantine Squad is the squad that I've only been hanging out with since, you know, everything, since the world got weird. I just decorated my living room for Jose's birthday. He's coming in the next 45 minutes and I still have to run and get last minute details. I have a theme going on. I don't know how many times I'm gonna see this in vlogs, but sometimes people are shook, and I guess that means they're new because I say it in every vlog. But I won the wardrobe from Scream Queen season one and two. Yes, this is real wardrobe Emma Roberts wore. And yeah, I'm making like a little Kappa party. I mean, I didn't make it. I bought this cake and then I decorated it. But yeah, <laughs> I feel like this is so cute. I've never done anything like this before. He's a fashion major, so he's gonna really appreciate this. He finds like huge appreciation for like Scream Queen's wardrobe specifically. So I asked Jose what does he want his little get together to be themed. And he gave me a list of like things he likes and Scream Queen's was in that list. And I'm like, yo, let's do this. Jose and I, like, he was a big fancy baby in 2016, 2017 during, like, Scream Queens era, and I met him when I had just started doing Blood Queens, and we low-key bonded over Scream Queens, and then we became best friends last year. Bro, this is what we bond over. It's a Scream Queens palace. I'm gonna make this bed when I get home. Um, I am gonna run and grab his favorite liquor. Okay, so we're gonna get a double mask from Halloween City because you seriously can't do a Scream Queen theme party without the red devil. And we're watching it tonight, so we need a red devil to freak out about. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in there. I think I'm gonna get this. This is the closest thing to a devil mask. I'm gonna get this. And then I'm gonna get this cape because the red devil in Scream Queens has like a collar like that. And I think I'm gonna put this together on like a mannequin or something. Okay, so we finished at the Halloween store and now we're gonna go to the liquor store and get Jose his alcohol. I was thinking about also getting him bitch vodka. Uh, I mean, bitch vodka like is super bitter and like not, I don't know. It tastes pretty bad, but the bottle's super cute. It's like a pastel pink cap. It's just like a really pretty bottle for those of you who saw Blood Queen's Christmas special, the Black Friday special. Um, the whole episode was re revolved around bitch vodka. Like I literally wrote a whole episode about alcohol. Um, yeah, I, th I was thinking about getting that. I feel like that's not a gift to Jose because it literally tastes like crap. It's just aesthetic, but I just gotta get my head out of that mindset and try and find something that would taste good for him. I definitely want to get him Jose Cuervo as a joke. Jose Jose Cuervo and this trick wine and I got Zena trick wine and this skull vodka also it's Zena's birthday weekend so we're so I'm gonna be celebrating both of them together so yeah I'm just like super excited I feel like everything has come together Look at this. Oh my god, you're picking out all the first ones at first, but... 
birthday glitter. <laughs> I'm looking at my blonde fantasy. <laughs> 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 Oh, downstairs is such a mess. I have so much to clean, but I had to get up and do glam because I am doing an online interview today. I slept in really. I'm just starting my day so late, but you know what? It's okay. It's a Sunday. I just feel like so much is going on. So basically, I need to update you on what the next few weeks on this channel are going to look like. You guys know Blood Queens is going up. Um, this is not zippering. Blood Queens is going up every Saturday on this channel up until Black Friday. And then Gab Miss is starting. Or actually, no, I'm not going to put a label to that. You guys know I get so excited about Gab Miss. I will literally start filming. I'll say it's just Blood Queens for the next four weeks. But you know, I get too excited and I love vlogging. So I probably will be vlogging during Blood Queens on Halloween. And then the three Saturdays following Halloween is Blood Queens on this channel. Also, starting tomorrow, Nikki and I are filming another reality show and it's for another platform than YouTube and the people who film the Kardashians, like that company is sending the camera crew. So it's definitely a different kind of reality show that's definitely a different level of quality and I'm really nervous, but that starts tomorrow on Monday and I'm like so nervous. And I'm like scared I'm not going to find time to vlog because they don't want me vlogging what's going to be happening on our new reality show because it'll just like spoil everything. <sighs> I'm just going to have to set some time aside, which I don't mind. I love vlogging for you guys, but I'm going to have to be vlogging whenever we get breaks or like days off. So I'm going to try as best as I can to vlog. It's actually really good that I do have Blood Queens being posted the three weeks we're filming this reality show. So if there's no vlogs the three weeks that Blood Queens is being posted, the three or four weeks, then at least you're getting Blood Queens. But if I find time, you know damn well that I'm going to make a vlog for this channel because this is just like my hobby and ironically it's work and I love it so much and I love that you guys know that and you guys have just as fun with this channel as I do. Here we go. It looks like a little blazer but it's like a cute little faux fur jacket. This is Ted Baker by the way if you guys are wondering. I also have to show you guys something and <laughs> I'm kind of proud of it. So ignore the clutter on my island, but I went shopping for the Christmas season. I'm going to show you guys a little haul after I show you this. Guys, I snagged a Victoria's Secret display Christmas tree. What the fuck? <laughs> like, this is like what you would see when you walk in and it's like on one of the round tables with the panties all around it. I'm just shook right now. I'm so happy I got this. During the Gabma season, this beautiful tree is going to go on the island where the pumpkin and mannequin are. And I'm going to put the mannequin somewhere else and I'm going to put like, I think this holiday bra on it. I just got this holiday bra. This I got from Poshmark. This isn't this season. I got this like lingerie set. I have Mama Mia nails. I forgot to show you guys. Um, I also got this cozy robe for Christmas. Or should I say Gabmas? And I got these slippers that match. You can't have too many hand sanitizers right now, especially since it's winter time and I am on the colder coast. Um, so this is Orchid Berry from Victoria's Secret. It smells divine. And I also have grapefruit neroli. And in here, I also have like other hand sanitizers. I also got this Victoria's Secret snow globe. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you'll remember this from my little like holiday Victoria's Secret TikTok. Is this ASMR with my nails? Um, I also got Cozy Sugar body spray and I got fresh vanilla. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Like 
Christmas is everything. And I got the new Victoria's Secret tees. They just rebottled it. You guys will see what this bottle looks like on my Insta. Actually, I'm gonna take it apart right now. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. Guys, this is Colin's favorite perfume that I've ever worn. This is the perfume I wore when we started dating, so. And yeah, that's like my little haul. I feel like my outfit looks so cute next to this tree right now. <laughs> Look, it's almost as tall as me. They look so much shorter on the display tables than they do in person. Or maybe I'm just shorter in person than I seem. I don't know, but it's really cute. a dissolving filler video we dissolved my cheeks and I haven't gotten my cheeks filled since but we do think that some of like my lip filler like migrated to like my cheeks so we're gonna dissolve my cheeks again and then we're gonna dissolve my upper like up here I thought I would incorporate this into a vlog we get rid of like all that I'm so happy let me, let's get in good light. It starts working like instantly. So I'm like already really happy. And I think this was a really good move. I want to close this fancy vlog by unboxing a Chanel bag that I have yet to open. I literally bought it like what? During Blood Queens? I went to the mall with Lauren and Brooke. And I bought a Chanel bag and I haven't unboxed it because I've been so busy. And now that it's approaching Gabmas season, I want to use the Chanel bag during Gabmas. So let's go unbox it. Okay guys, so this is the box. I'm so excited to show you guys. This has to be my favorite Chanel bag I ever purchased. Okay, are you ready? Look at her, look at this beautiful like gold detailing is along the rim of this clutch. There's hearts, there's flowers. It says Rie Cambon, just like the necklace on my mannequin. Speaking of my mannequin, I have to switch up my closet to be Gabmas slash Christmas. So my next vlog is going to be a closet makeover for Gabmas. It's just so beautiful. The detailing is just so precise and I love the pearls. I just love the blush pink too. I feel like it's gonna go with all my winter looks. And eventually when I'm able to go to events again, I think this will look just so stunning. Especially when I'm able to go to Paris again, like this will complete all my looks. So yeah, that's me closing this fancy vlog with this beauty. I'm still thinking of a name for her, but let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more girly videos on this channel. I've been noticing as of recent, maybe the last two months, my videos have not been so girly or fancy and that's what this channel is for. That's the reason I made this channel. I felt like I couldn't express my girly side fully on the Nikki and Gabby channel. So I thought making a fancy vlog channel will get to display my fanciness and girliness and princess style more. So I'm gonna let you know this Gabmas season is going to mainly be focused on just everything pink and girly. And I hope you guys enjoy this Gabmas season. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog.